Right, welcome back to another lesson on Tavasoli's electrical training channel. Previously we made this program for a garage door, uh, this ladder logic program on PLC SLC 500 Alan Bradley with the help of this Logix Pro simulator. Um, so the program is now downloaded uh, and you can simulate it and if we put it on run mode and let's say open the garage door opens and we can increase the speed a little bit you can see it faster and it goes all the way up and then stops there this is the full working program so after it's completely open it, the open indicator comes on while it was opening the ajar indicator was on and then you can press close and it closes and at any time you can press stop and it stops close <coughs> so this was our program now we want to improve this program by putting a timer here so when it gets to the end of the course of open when the shutter is completely open we want to start a timer that counts as many as long as you want let's say 10 minutes or 10 seconds and after 10 seconds it just automatically closes the gate so to do that we just go back to programming mode <coughs> We go back to our bits and uh, use our timers we press on timer counter uh, what I'm going to use is timer on delay uh, we have different types of timers timer on delay timer off delay retentive timer on delay and uh, count count up countdown reset and all that in this lesson we just work on timers with the help of timer on delay so if I just uh, write another wrong of a pro program what we want to do is now when it goes up and uh, when you press the open gate the gate opens so the shutter goes all the way up this limit switch I13 at the moment when the gate is closed or the shutter is down it's activated already I13 is already activated and that's why we used a NOT gate here for I13 or uh, normally close contact of it so we have to be careful with this one when it's down it's already closed so when it's open when the gate is open when the shutter is completely open the normally open contact of this limit switch will be opened so the timer that we we want to use we have to activate it with the help of this limit switch so when the shutter is completely open we have to use a contact of this limit switch that will activate that timer the timer will start counting after let's say 10 seconds will start the process of going down again the shutter will close so instead of pressing it manually it will automatically press this I10 101 this is I101 sorry the I101 is your closed switch which is in this wrong so we want to activate this wrong or this motor automatically when the counter is done is counting or the timer is done is timing so I'll need a line here a wrong of program here so what I'm gonna do go back to bits put a wrong of a program the user um, and put another line there uh, here you go you have this wrong then go back to timer use a timer there timer on delay now when you put that there you still have to put the uh, parameters there 
the timer, how many time, how much, how long. Uh, the base is already given. If you double click on that it, the, or highlight the whole block of the timer, but you need to go into back into um, time and mode, uh, programming mode. Uh, ah, here you go. We have to actually click on this side of the. We have to actually click on the the values. You can't click on the base. Time base is already set in this um, software, so I can't change that one. But the timer itself, the num number, time and number, the, the time and number itself, you can choose. Uh, in this case, by default, it's chosen T4 colon zero, which you, you can just leave it as that. But the length of uh, timer how long it will be on you can set so you can say the time base is because the time base is 0 0.1 if I want it 10 seconds then I put a hundred here so 100 times 0 0.1 is 10 seconds that's how you calculate how many minutes or seconds you want it on after 10 seconds this is 0 0.1 seconds so times 100 will give you 10 seconds after 10 seconds uh, it'll be energy. It'll be done. Now we need a contact of this limit switch I13 here. Now, what contact do we need? Do we need a normally open contact or a normally closed contact? Now, when it's opened completely, when the shutter is completely opened, we said this is normally open. The limit switch is open. So we need a normally closed contact. So when it's closed, the timer will count. I drag this, the number of the timer itself. here, uh, sorry the limit switch here and this on its own won't do anything and uh, we can try this and see what happens just to show you uh, download that into the PLC put it on run mode and open it uh, As you see, the limit switch, the contact that we've used here, normally close contact, is not activated. The timer is not activated. When it gets to the top, it is activated. The timer is energized and is counting. But when it, it's done counting, and it's done its time, 100, the done bit will come on. But we haven't used that anywhere in the program, so it's not going to do anything on its own. So this is just a point I wanted to make. Uh, we go back to programming. We use this bit of the timer, timer done, to start this motor down. So I need another normally open contact of this timer done in parallel with this start button or push button for the close. So you'll close the shutter automatically. So if I click on this and put a normally close, normally open contact and we need that there and that here. And we name this this timer. Right, and instead of doing that, I just say T4 colon 0 slash done, enter. And we can put a comment there, we can put um, 
edit symbol timer done now with this it should be automated now go back to uh, download the program into the PLC run mode as you see it's automatically started going down because it's, it had already counted 10 seconds now you repeat the cycle you'll see uh, this is closed nothing is happening until I press the open button I'll go up all the way and nothing is happening in this wrong but as soon as it hits this limit switch is activated this timer is energized it's counting when it gets to 100 which is 10 seconds this will come on down and that was activated this wrong of the program the done bit activated this wrong of the program and now the motor is going down you could put another timer and a counter to say if this cycle repeated itself let's say five times uh, this cycle repeated five times within the period of let's say five minutes then it shut down the whole thing and closed down the gate because somebody is messing about with it that's that could be another interesting program to do but this was just a lesson to show you how to use a timer on bit or block and how to use the uh, timer done bit of it in another part of the program Thank you very much. If there's any questions or comments, don't hesitate to ask or make comments there. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Goodbye.